Hey guys, it's Pop Freak here, and today we're gonna be doing a video of some brand new Funko Pops that are coming for December, and these are super exciting. There's a lot of good ones. I know you guys are probably wondering, where am I in this new environment or adaptment? I don't know what you guys wanna call it. Be out of town, I'm on low vacation, you know, just take a couple. Currently in my hometown, um, you know, I've had Thanksgiving here, back in town, for the next Funko News video that'll be coming Wednesday. So you'll see me back at the same, you know, this the same hideout, the lair, as I call it. But um, well, let's get into these Funko Pops. They're coming for December of 2024. Mm -hmm. Their release date will be like January, February, you know, stuff like that. But like, dude, my wallet's struggling, man. My wallet is struggling. I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. My life. Good stuff. So let's get right into this. I picked out 15 um, new pops that are coming. The page actually forgot to include one one set of pops that are coming soon. Um, so you know, I say I saved those for last. So we'll talk about them last. But first off, we have the real Ghostbusters. And the real Ghostbusters is, I believe, an animated show. I think so. I'm curious if these will be placed in the category of pop movies or pop animation. I'm going near pop animation, but we'll find out. Venkman with Slimer, Ray Stentz, Egon Spangler, and Wilson Zetamore. I think I might butcher those. It's kind of funny. For a first second, I thought these were Back to the Future. My friend, but then I saw Slam. I'm like, oh wait, these are Ghostbusters. I thought they were like Ghostbusters too, but it's actually like the real Ghostbusters. So I find that super cool. To be honest, I might just get Vankman with Slimer. It depends. I hope these do turn out cartoony because that'd be pretty cool. Then we got Andor Wave 2. Now, to be honest, I don't know why we're getting Andor Wave 2. Like, we got one for WinterCon last year at NYCC and SDCC. And those didn't sell that well, so I just don't know why we're getting Andor Wave 2, but hey, I mean, Star Wars fans, they're again little by little, so I mean, take what you guys can get. But yeah, we're getting another cast in Andor. We're getting Kaino, Luthen, Rail, and Marva. I probably butchered those. Again, Star Wars names can be insanity. Like, I mean, what world names? Like, Snice Noodles. Hopefully, we get a pop of her one day. That'd be cool, but yeah, you just get so creative with um, Star Wars naming this week. I know the Ghostbusters one will be coming the first week of December. Some reels, but I think I got more insight on what's coming soon throughout this video that I'll share with you guys. This is one of the waves I'm super excited for. I waited a long time for these. I watched the show when I was, or this movie when I was little, but it's called Mars Attacks. Now we're getting some brand new ones, and oh my god. These are incredible. I'm super excited for these. These are definitely some pops I think could very well make the top 10 pops 2024 because there's going to be super cool. I have the original one. It's fake. I don't have the money to drop 300 of the original one. But, you know, my brother really likes Mars Attack. So that pop, the OG one, it's, it's in his room. The new wave comes out. It'll most likely be staying in my room because, you know I me, mean? I just love Mars Attacks. And these are honestly so freaking cool. They are amazing. But we got a Mars <laughs> Ambassador, I think. I think that's like the King um, Alien. I could be wrong. Again, I haven't watched this since like maybe 2010, 2012. It's so funny. My brother used to like this movie, but like I kind of got grossed out. Like the one thing that really grossed me out was when like the finger was in the fish tank. I don't know why. I got to give that movie a watch again. I'm probably going to watch it maybe soon. I don't know when this is coming out in December, like which week, but it will be coming soon. But yeah, we got a Martian soldier, a Martian spy girl. We have a Martian soldier with exploding brain. Now that's a glow in the dark specialty series exclusive, but it's might be a it might that's a rumor though. The rumor is it's a specialty series exclusive. We'll have to see, but this is definitely an exclusive chase. I might have to be dropping 50, 60 bucks in the chase bundle. So might have to do that. Sock is excited for this. But we have Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I hope I got that right. We have Ferris Bueller, Cameron Fry, Sh um, Shalone Peterson, maybe. I'm not sure. But then we got Cameron in Jersey. That'll be an exclusive. I have a weird feeling that could be Fungo Shop. Just because, like, Fungo Shop gets, like, I don't know. They they get you. They get like they get so much stuff. So I won't be surprised. They're coming soon. I remember I was at a tag sale. Funny enough, actually in this town that I'm in now, um, and I found out a box pop, and I was like, "Who is this?" And 
thing I posted in a Facebook group and people were like, oh, that's Ferris Bueller. I was like, oh, wow. Breakfast Club, we got Andrew Clark, Brian Johnson, John Bender, Claire Standish, I think, and Allison Reynolds. I don't know nothing about The Breakfast Club. Again, Saki's really excited for these. Then we got Lord of the Rings. Not gonna lie, these are really cool. Um, I think these, mm, yeah, these are coming this week. We have an Ewan with Nazgul mask chase. I'm butchering these so hard. No, I, have I haven't watched none of the Lord of the Rings movies or show. One coming out in December in the theaters. The popcorn bucket's a giant 20 inch hammer. So that is actually pretty cool. When coordination, then we have a deluxe Gandalf with door. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. I really hope in the flap it actually says that. It glows in the dark though, so that'd be cool. Um, Lord Arwen with Rivendale. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm butchering these. Got old Bilbo Baggins with Possessed Chase. It's an exclusive. I'm curious which retailer is going to get that. It was funny because we were calling, talking about these. We were like, we were legit like every five minutes we'd refresh the page to see what would get revealed. You know, I'd be making the, I'd be making my lists while you know reveals are going on you know we were thinking we're like what if this is a barnes and nobles exclusive and i know that's a crazy thing to think but if this is a barnes and nobles exclusive with a chase that would be so bad can you imagine bro it'd be so easy all you'd have to do is call up and say hey put on hold every single one it, it's i don't know it's just fine to me but if we're playing real ball game very well could be um Funko Shop or maybe Box Inch or Hot Topic. Hot Topic has not got a Chase Pop, I think, since like June. Yeah, it was the the last thing they got was the Luffy and Foxy 2 pack. They gotta get another one in. But this, I am super freaking excited for these. I cannot wait. I'm getting all these. You already know me. Getting all of them. I still need to get the Hot Topic Beetlejuice with Snake. I need to get that one soon. My Hot Topic hasn't posted pops in like two weeks, man. I don't know what the heck's going on with them. Haven't been to the mall in over two weeks because, you know, they just haven't been posting nothing good. I don't know, get that one soon. If it goes up on Fungo Shop, I'll get it. But we are getting Beetlejuice. We're getting Lydia Dietz floating. Lena Dietz, I think, my butcher dad. And a Pop Plus, a Beetlejuice on Tombstone. Now, we already seen how the Pop Plus looks like. And personally, this is a perfect Pop Plus. It'll look great. I cannot wait to get that. Then we have a To Be Dated, which is an abbreviation for to be announced. And then we also have a Pop Plus to be dated exclusive, meaning a unknown Pop Plus. And a good amount of Beetlejuice Funko Pop. We got Pokemon Pops. We're getting Gengar um, and two other ones. I don't really know those names. My, I might get Gengar. I might, you know, if they make a 10 inch Gengar, I might have to get it. I might. I don't know why they keep making 10 inch Pokemons. I really don't know. Saki, I know, is super excited for these. I'm definitely gonna grab these because I buy a lot of Sonic Pops, but there's one thing I want to talk about. We'll get to that real quick. But we got a Rogue Treasure Hunter Knuckles. We have a Plus E123 Omega and a 6-inch Big with Froggy. But then we have a Pop Plus exclusive Super Sonic with Emeralds. And it's flocked and it's an exclusive. That makes me think, why is that flocked? That should be glow in the dark because that just makes no sense. And again, that's Funko doing Dumb, stupid stuff like that. When the Wizards of Oz, Monkey, and Cowardly Lion came out, they were metallic. They should have been flocked. I don't know why we are getting this flocked. This should be glow. But either way, I will buy it. I am just so... I'm just unfortunate and not happy that it's flocked. Okay? We already have a flocked Sonic that supposedly really is releasing tomorrow at Target. But I don't even know if my area's got it. I know some stores in my area's got it, but I don't think nothing local got it. We'll find out though, maybe. Uh, soon to the Funko shop, a pop ride, white beard with Moby Dick, part of the Marine Ford wave. Now I'm excited for this, but like, man, I really got to save some money for this. I'm hoping to get this soon. I know this will most likely drop in February. It's going to run 40 bucks USD with shipping and taxes should run you 50 bucks. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to get this. I'm just super excited for this. I really hope to God. I know his hands are out like this. If he has the blood on his on his like body, that's gonna be phenomenal. I definitely need this. See, this is insane. I mean, I was talking to my friend last night. And he's like, I'm gonna get that if they don't make like 80,000 units. I mean, you already know for a fact this thing's gonna be mass produced. They're gonna make so much of this. But who knows, maybe they might, maybe they won't. Suicide Squad, um, 
some anime. I don't really know what it's called, but it's some anime. We have Harley Quinn, Dead Shark, Katana, her name, and the Joker with knives. That has a chase. So those are all right. I know it's anime. I never heard of the show. I'm not gonna get. It. Like I said, I'm I'm more excited for James Gunn's Suicide Squad. Um, no, it's Creature Commandos. I think, or Creature Command. That's coming out, I believe, in December on HBO Max. I'm super excited for that. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna give, gonna give that a watch. Yu Gi Oh, Fuggle Pops. We got Alexis Rhodes, um, Emerald Hero Neos, Yubel, and a plus Dark Magician attack. Now I actually Dark Magician. That was a hot topic one, so it's nice we're getting another Dark Magician. I'll have to get that over the hot topic one. I have an Emerald Hero Sparkman exclusive. Now I'm gonna get these Yu Gi Oh ones, but like man. This is really annoying me because I like, do. We just got a Yu-Gi-Oh wave two months ago, and they're finally hitting stores. And I need to track down a couple more of the common wave. I still need that six inch deluxe, and then we got this one. This is what I mean. This is another set. This is another wave of pops they're making, but they're not giving us a good amount of time to catch up on them. On them, you know, it's just same like with Bleach. Two months ago, wave. And now we got another wave coming. It's like man. It's just crazy, like, they just don't give us a break, you know? But that's Funko, you know, that's the, name, that's the name of the game. Don't stop until you pop, basically. That's what my friend would say, Demon Slayer. And I'm actually, this is going to sound crazy, guys, but I am all cop with Demon Slayer. Besides the Fundum Glow Mitsuri, I was going to get that, but I'm like, nah, I don't need that. Because with this, we have some brand new Demon Slayer ones coming soon. And bro, these are crazy. We got Muchido Attack with a Demon Slayer Masked Chase. A Mitsuri attack, Enya demon form, the premium Rengoku flame breathing nine form. We have a Mitsuri damage and another exclusive. See, I get a lot of stuff for Demon Slayer. Again, I gotta see how these turn out to see which ones I'll be buying. We have a bunch of commons with a chase, and we have three exclusives of it two glow chases and one exclusive, which is enraged Broly with energy. And we have a six inch Super Saiyan Broly. Now this is pretty cool because the last Broly we got was actually a Galactic Toys exclusive that came out in 2019 for Captain America Brave New World. You want me? Come and get me! Now these were not these were not revealed, but these are coming next week. Same with the um Broly ones. The Broly ones will be coming the first week of um December. But for Captain America Brave New World, we have Captain America Sam Wilson's, we have Falcon, we have Ruth Bat Serpeth, which is the girl in the movie we have the leader now the leader is going to be super freaking cool the one thing about the leader is this might be our actual first look at the leader because in the trailer we have only seen him from behind we haven't seen how he looked we had seen a picture but it was very blurry but all i know is he's gonna have facial hair so very curious to see how that pop's gonna look because that could basically give away a thing for the movie so i'm definitely excited for that six inch red hulk and i'm definitely gonna have to get that that's gonna be amazing we have a unknown exclusive thunderbolt ross now this is i thought this would be part of the common wave like i said a couple months ago but it's really not it's actually apparently an exclusive and from i heard the rumor is we could be getting three to five exclusives for brave new world i'm not entirely sure have to find out this week yeah that basically is everything coming soon for this month of december 2024 a funko pops man my wallet's gonna take a heavy hit like it does every month but again thank you all for watching i hope you guys had a good thanksgiving a good black friday i did not personally go out for black friday nothing really good i wanted and i don't feel like going out and seeing a bunch of taylor swift fans fighting and killing each other over a book and a and a, and a freaking novel or a novel and a freaking CD. I don't know what it is. Don't really comment. Subscribe. See you guys soon. Peace. It is fitting that you perish just as your mother perished. <laughs>